A major medical advancement right here in Rhode Island, hidden scar surgery. On the heels of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a local doctor is now the first in the state to be certified in an innovative new surgery for breast cancer patients. The scars from this disease are emotional and physical. Many times when a person is diagnosed, all they're thinking about is surviving. But according to the American Cancer Society, the five-year survival rate is now close to 100%. That means the majority of breast cancer patients will live with those scars for the rest of their life. As we discovered, this new surgery is making those scars virtually invisible. It's the discovery no woman wants to make. Heather Cagno found a lump in her breast last June. Doctors weren't sure if it was cancerous, but with Heather's family history of breast cancer, her mind was made up. She wanted surgery to remove it immediately. An operating room nurse at Women and Infants Hospital, she was all too prepared for the physical reminder she'd seen her patients walk away with. When I woke up, I I knew I was going to have a scar, and I knew my scar was probably going to be a little bit larger. Dr. Jennifer Goss had a different outcome in mind. She's the first surgeon in Rhode Island certified in a new type of hidden scar breast cancer surgery. Using this technique of surgery, we place our incisions at something we call the inframammary fold, or where your bra uh, usually sits. And because that is hidden, women can have that surgery and then look at themselves in the mirror and never see their scar. It's all made possible by a lighted retractor. It provides a brighter, clearer pathway to the tumor, allowing the surgeon to place the incision further away. While the concept of hidden scar surgery has been around for some time, Dr. Goss says this new technology allows them to perform the surgery on just about any patient. My favorite visit with patients is when they come in and they say, Dr. Goss, I just had my mammogram and the radiology tech couldn't find my scar. In Heather's case, Dr. Goss placed the scar right near Heather's armpit. You know, it's only this long. I didn't think as heavily about it beforehand. I was just like, it is what it is. And to wake up that way, I was just thrilled. I was, I was thrilled. And even more good news for Heather, the tumor was benign. In addition to Dr. Goss, several other surgeons at women, uh, women and Zen and Infants and one at Kent Hospital are currently training to perform this surgery. And we've posted more information about it on our website, WPRI.com.